Alright guys, sorry about this. I had to put this in the video at the beginning right quick. This video had to be chopped up into pieces because it was just a little bit too long. Alright, thanks. Bye. Yo, what's going on everyone? I'm 12G's Gaming. You can call me Smith. And what are we doing today? We're going to be playing some more Kerbal Space Program. Now, if you don't know what this game is, you can go and watch the uh, previous video of this. It's called Kerbal Space Program for Beginners. Now, in that video, I showed the basic way to build in this game. But that plane, since I was kind of short on time, I didn't have enough time to really you know, concentrate on how to make it right. So in this video, I am going to be showing how to make an airplane the correct way okay so just like before you always start out in the uh, I call it CNC which stands for cockpit and control but if you look under the tabs it will be the pods tab that you always start out with now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna use mostly the same parts so we're gonna click this right here the cockpit mark one and now you'll be able to move now we're going to go over to the tab right underneath it called fuel tanks and this we're going to be building something a little bit bigger so I'm going to be showing you how to make more of a speed like plane so what we're going to be using is we're going to be using liquid fuel and possibly some rocket fuel too so let's start out with the liquid fuel one two three and a little side warning if you accidentally click and you can't find it just look on the screen somewhere and you should be able to see it it's always see-through and if like and in case if you didn't watch the previous video if you accidentally click something that you don't want to keep and you want to choose something else and you can't get it to click on screen just click on it move over to an item that you want to use or you don't want to use and click on it and then your mouse is clear now if you can't click on it just sort of avoid that and if you click the very first part that you started the build with you can move it around and stuff now I'm not going to because I want to keep this as you know as normal as possible so we're going to go over here and you can make this as long as you want but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over here to wings and here's something for you this will show you how to make custom wings the custom wing parts are down here so the wings that I'm gonna be making are slanted so we're going to take one of these it's a swept wing type B going to turn on symmetry right here we're going to click on it and we're going to pull it up to about right here all right now here's where our air intakes come in if you go back and watch the previous video it said to use the radial air intakes which are these but in this we're going to be using one of the fuselage air intakes and we're going to be using the basic one the mark one yeah divert less supersonic intake and we're going to be putting it about right here now if you want it to be facing a certain way you use the WASD keys Q and E to twist it so we're going to be putting it underneath like this all right now here's what I'm gonna do if that doesn't look good in your opinion you can switch it out with something else but here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to take some liquid uh, some liquid fuel and I'm going to sit it in front of it okay then I'm going to set some of it in the back all right actually you know what no I'm going to put it about right here okay wait a minute okay see this is how it is with me 
And sorry if you heard a little bump there or a little noise. I accidentally hit my microphone just now. Anyway. So let me just go ahead and get this out of the way. When I'm building these bit when I'm building these um vehicles and stuff on camera, I am just sort of like critiquing it as I go. So I'm actually gonna change this up a little bit. So I'm going to remove that temporarily. I'm going to go back to that. And I'm just going to set it right there, and I'm going to put these back on it. Alright. And now what I can do is I can take something like this, like an engine nacelle, put it right here instead. Be right back, guys. Alright, welcome back, everyone. Sorry about that. The, uh, game crashed on me. Alright, now let's get back to it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to get some more fuselage. Make sure your symmetry mode's on. And we're just gonna put it like that. Okay, and we're gonna grab one more. Put it like that. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an extra set of intakes. In my opinion, you can either use these, or these, whoops, wrong one, uh, or these, I mean. For this, I'm going to use those. Alright, and now what we're going to do is, and I'm going to keep it in this picture for a second, just in case if it's kind of running slow for you. It should look something like this. Okay, now I'm gonna grab another one of those angled wings. And I'm gonna try to kind of line it up with them. Alright, there we go. Now, at this point, just simply grab one of these, the structural wing type A's. Okay, that's a l little bit too long. Okay, don't use those. Structural wing type. Okay, use the structural wing type D. That'll end it off. And now we're going to grab a couple more fuselage. For the engines. And you should end up with something like this. Now, in order to make it so that way this doesn't just explode, what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove this one fuselage tank piece. Actually, that's the fuselage. This is fuel the fuel fuselage and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this flip this around and put it right there mm, now see I don't like that so I'm going to remove it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these and I'm gonna put them on the back right here make sure symmetry mode is on for this alright now these will just space it out so that way you can fit more on it now will this actually work I don't know but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to, I think it's, yeah, Utility. And where is it? I'm looking for a type of nose cone. Actually, I think it's an aerodynamics. Um, yeah, for, okay, right here. It's the one with the blue tip on it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some engines right here. And I'm going to use the J-4... 404, no, the J404 Path Panther Afterburn Afterburning Turbofan Engine. Again, make sure it's always and stuff like this. Make sure it's always um, temperature mode on. If you're working on just the singular fuselage, you can turn that off if you want to. Now it looks good and all, but there's still one thing that we need to do. And just in case, if you're going slow on this, it should look something like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take some... I'm going to take the... No, okay, not that one. The... Forgive me if I say this wrong. I think it's supposed to be aileron, but in this it's spelled avlion. 
Elevon. I think it's spelled Elevon in this, but I think it's pronounced Aileron. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it right here on the end. Now, if you do it right, it should look like this. Just simply take WASD and just kind of fiddle around with it. And once you get it straight, boom, you're good. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some small adjuster flaps, so that's what I call them, but it's actually the advanced canards. And we're going to put it right here. Boom. Okay, now for the tail fin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, again, this, and I'm going to put it right here on this. Since it's wider, you might need something like this. Alright, so we have our basic body down, but this thing will not hold itself. I can assure you that much. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to structural, and we're going to grab something called an EAS4 strut connector. And we're going to put it right here, and we're going to connect up these wings. Now make it so that way if you ever needed to, you could just hover over it and pick it back up. And again, same thing over here, but this time, for if you're building this exact same model, put it about right there, and then put it on the body right here. You should end up with something similar than this, but again, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Okay. Now all that's left are some wheels. Actually, hold on a moment. There is one thing. Now, if you've made this exact same model, you should be able to just click this right here and simply just remove the whole thing and click back on it and just attach it back on. That helps if you've forgotten something, if you build it like that. Put, go over here to Command and Control, the actual CNC tab, and pick something called an, an Advanced Inline Stabilizer, or the SAS module and then just attach it back. There you go. And in case if it was slow, it should look like this now. Okay, now we're gonna go over here to Utility. And if you keep stumbling across a tab called Science, don't worry about that yet. Go over here to Utility, and we're going to pick some wheels. Same wheels as the, eh, as the last time, so we're gonna put one right there in the middle. Turn on symmetry mode for this, and we're going to put it right here. The wheel should look something like this. Okay, and now we need to call our aircraft, and we're going to have to call our aircraft a name. So we're going to go up here, we're going to click it, and then we're going to hit delete or backspace, and it should show the United Spacecraft l little wording there with, um little bar in the middle. Again, you can just click on it and that'll do it. Okay, so what are we going to call this? I'm going to call mine... Let's call it... The... YouTube... Oh, dang it, it didn't catch it. The... YouTube... One. Just hit enter. And if you hover over it, you can write a description. I'm not going to write that, 